and the solo challenge solo back to back. This is big, but it's not huge. At 1435. Yeah. Going back to back, so stay tuned. <laughs> That's funny. I'm using these as two seconds. Right, so, Dang Barbecue brought the uh, whole Farmageddon challenge out. This big, massive four pound burrito full of all your staples and uh, side of fries. About another five pound platter. Now, we just did the team challenge and we just decided to sit here and just go ahead and do this one too. So, back to back. Let's get into it. Half an hour. All right, Farmageddon challenge in three, two, one. French fries. I just really like fries. Mm. They taste just like the ones I just ate. I know. And that is what we call consistency. Something that I am not. Mm. I mean, if sauces are good. I love burritos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a lot of meat in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Close to three pounds of meat. That's massive. Four pounds of burrito and three pounds of little meat. So it's getting your money's worth. Mm -hmm. Fly price, absolutely. Carolina Gold Fire. I was going to be proper and use a fork the whole time. I told you to debunk that right off the bat. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. I failed myself. Then she decided to go on Molly Schumer. Right? I just don't know how to eat a burrito without using my hands. Okay. I just, you know. I mean, it's almost like, um, you know, like a queso fundido or something that just like grips the burrito and just kind of use it to pick up. The meat. Mm -hmm. She does have the record on a five pound burrito, a minute 27. A minute 27? Minute 25. Oh, 125. Minute 27 must have been the old record. Well, one of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I had to get a man versus food back then. We, we had, I had Adam Richmond in the old restaurant that I used to own. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was, That's uh, cool. Let's go Port Royal Grill and do this thing called the Davy Jones Locker Challenge. I didn't even hear of that one. Yeah, it was nice one. The whole restaurant's like pirate themed. Uh huh. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, he beat that challenge. I mean, that gets you out there, you know, people see that. Mm -hmm. And the new guy, Casey Webb, that's on the man he's pretty entertaining. I'd love to get him in there. Did you get those things out there? And it just keeps running. You know, it just keeps running and reruns and whatever. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's fun. People want to do stuff like this. I think the, the new guy, you know, that does it, actually has like almost like a more like fun presence about him. And the, show, like, the show's almost like more fun now than it was. Like, Adam Rich was great, mm -hmm. but I'm a fan of this new guy. I think, uh, love to get him in here. I think Adam Richman was more serious than <coughs> Casey Webb did. Well, we got him in season two, and at that point, he was already like off of doing like hot challenges. Mm -hmm. Like the producer said, like, don't even mention like Ghost Pepper's thing, you can't, yeah, you're not doing So it was a secret challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll pretty much eat just about dog on anything. I don't really care. I'm pretty easy going. Oh, yeah.
key is to knock it out as quickly as you can. So the body realizes what you're doing. I would agree. I think it's pointing at this point our bodies are pretty used to being beat on pretty good. <laughs> so much for that uh, clean approach. And I'm hand yet. You know. <laughs> You just can't take the Molly Shroom around. I'm just a mom trying to make it in a meat world. That's what I'm going to do. I'm making it in a meat world. Using my fork to make the fries. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think about doing both and both? Back to back, full on? No way. No. Hmm? A little big? Um. I don't know, it's tough to tell because. I mean, for us, like I said, it's like like a usual challenge. We'll usually double or triple it. I mean, a five pound challenge, and not it's just that we're able to do a little bit more. It's like I'd rather like I have to make it hard because I can do a five pound challenge. Some places won't let us do that though. They just won't let us do the one. Well, I just thought this would be a good opportunity to tech to put this one together and start the promoting. So now we have these. You know, I know there's some appeal to uh, being the unbeaten challenge, but uh, to me there's some appeal to uh, look, somebody beat it. Uh, they be People think it's more doable if somebody actually beats it. Yeah. It's actually what Adam used to say when he was on the show. He's like, I don't know how they track these statistics. He said, but Russia should stay in contact with the ones that he's won the challenge. Would do better than the ones where he didn't. Mm -hmm. More people try because they're like, oh, if that guy can do it, I can do it. Yeah. He's like a whatever guy. He's, like, <laughs> he's just like. Well, and if a girl can do it. Yeah, I don't see how. It is. <laughs> I mean, if a girl can do it. Because that, you're so skinny that like, you have like flexibility and elasticity to your. Uh... I don't mean shit. <laughs> Uh, Most of the could. Yeah, I mean, the whole band of fat situation, like you see, like, uh, these guys don't usually do well in the competition. Stuff, like, so. I used to be 400 pounds. You did? My hand smells like meat. Meat. Like meat. It smells like good meat. Ugh. That was freaking delicious. Damn. I have to laugh at my carcass here. Luckily for me, there's a funeral home across the road. What? A funeral home. In case I die from all this meat. Die from all the deliciousness. Oh, whatever. I could die. 
so delicious, I die. Just My hand smells like cheese and barbecue. There's gonna be a thumbnail of the building with the funeral home in the back. It's gonna say, "So delicious, I died." <laughs> wow. <laughs> Died due to deliciousness. What? Nice, nice, sir. It'd be pretty difficult to do the, the team and the solo. I think so. You did it. Yeah. It wouldn't be impossible, but. You would have to have zero water. Yes. Under the brightness of the cigarette flame, good old bittersweet you. Oh, step all a spite, but with a different name. Something's not working. <laughs> And they have a tea hose down the uh, down the block. It's some Tim Hortons. Oh yeah, yeah. They're new to the area. Thank you. Invaded by Canada. Generals. I'm from Minnesota, don't you know? Oh, do you? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, you betcha. Oh yeah, betcha. We eat, Bye, dear. We eat toast. <laughs> yeah, we do. Getting <laughs> started. We've been watching a lot of Fargo lately. I don't want to get. Oh God. Oh yeah. <laughs> That tastes like magic. Magic? Oh, your yeah. magic. The magic diet coke. Is, uh, the bubbles. Taste the bubbles. Taste the bubbles. You can make it like a panini out of that. That'd be good. Like or be like a, like a quesadilla. Yeah. That would be really good. I'm big enough to grow. Oh yeah, okay, like a, oh, you feel like a can like a panini press and made like grilled like a pulled pork sandwich with a bunch of all the fixings. Oh dude, that would be good. You do taste the beer, you do the like this. Grilled panini bread is delicious. Wow. Oh. Yeah, delicious. Very impressive. With the help of some various condiments, barbecue sauces. Sometimes, wasn't that one time you drank a whole pitcher of ranch? I used condiments on my long slender <laughs> <laughs> Well, color me impressed, guys. That was definitely a show. Now they're both absolutely freaking delicious. And like all the burgers and the fact that you can pick all your own gourmet burgers, which is cool. Same thing with the guys. There you have it. There's the uh, <coughs> Farmageddon challenge right after the uh, team challenge we did. A lot of meat, a lot of fries. There's a funeral home over there. I might go over and see what kind of casket girl I can get. I'm feeling dead after all that meat. But it was delicious. It almost killed me with all the deliciousness. If you're ever in this area, make sure you stop in here. Dang barbecue. Have yourself a... Just have one sandwich. Yeah. Not three burgers, three things, fries, burrito. Just no. That was a plethora. That was a plethora. That word means a lot. And enjoy it. But until next time, check out my channel. Check out Dang Barbecue. Take it easy. Dang, dang.